the Academy of Language Therapy and Life Coaching, Motivation and Mindset for Leadership, Issue and Session 94, The Heart of the Matter. Freedom is never a non-essential concept when we consider both mental and physical processes. As always, the guardian of the body remains the mind and the ideas held within. With the right amount of effort, a concept that was once upon a time intangible can become an initiative and be shared and passed around and built upon. This takes time and an ability to endure, which is less well understood. The solution is to become the messenger of a worthwhile message, to turn towards your fears and write with determination about the passions that rest in and around your heart, to embrace circumstances. Life is an open terrain with nothing much really predestined for anyone. If you never hide from your work, then you will never drift from your mission. Many people remain misguided, following the wrong lead down the wrong path. Life begins to fall apart for many when they listen to their guide more than they listen to themselves. Liberty only exists when you remove the anxiety of society and replace it with an understanding of the individual. Being true to yourself pays back the greatest dividend. Live not in sin and you need not worry about the results of your sins. Easier said than done. Every second that we dwell on disappointment is a moment of lost opportunity. Advantages are hard to gain and easy to lose. Realize that there are fundamental truths that don't change. Principles 1. We are all trapped in our existence. We are all dying from the moment that we are born. We are all falling through the divine hourglass of time. As we transcend, we must learn to see time as a gift from God. Man grants no escape for himself, and rather tends to bind himself to other men. 2. We owe to ourselves the duty of doing the very best at every turn. We must endeavour to do what is right with the knowledge that our determination is part of a larger plan. We may at times find that we both lead and are led, but this only succeeds with the right kinds of leadership. 3. We should aim to let go of our dependence before we can ascend to independence. The physical life is just so that we may serve each other. The time and place of our death is of no real concern. We have lived as we will die. We cannot choose a path without adversity and some level of hardship. The role of true authority is not to protect you. It is to protect liberty. To protect the sanity of your own space and place. To enable you to live without interference or hindrance. Peace is never purchased with safety. Assistance can just as easily remove security as provide it. Enslavement is perhaps the ultimate disease. More than that, the fact that people will justify their own slavery and the slavery of others is the single greatest problem in the world. It is the eternal problem. You don't save lives by stealing liberties. What good are any rights granted if they are violated in any time of need? Each person needs to be encouraged to see beyond the obvious and into the opposite. This is the principal intellect of an educated mind. The future stares you in the face. The future stares everyone in the face. 
The question is, can you show compassion for all humanity without the need to see compliance? When life becomes the opportunity, the concept of death seems less a foe and more a friendly reminder of what matters the most. If you don't let love rule, then your passions will be fueled by hate or fear. Strong men make peace, while weak men make excuses. It's always winter somewhere, but don't let that get in your way. This is Motivation and Mindset for Leadership. If you are interested in an online personal or professional development consultation, then please contact the Academy of Language Therapy and Life Coaching. Wherever you are, I wish you a fantastic day.